Good morning, my friends. I'm so glad you're here today. Uh, I'm glad to be reading to you once again. This week, the story that I'm bringing to you is May Among the Stars, which is by Rhoda Ahmed, and it's illustrated by Stasia Burrington. So, without further ado, let's jump right in. I have a feeling it's going to be a great book. Little May was a dreamer. They say that daydreamers never succeed, but little May was different. That looks so cozy. One day, May was working on an assignment for school about what she wanted to be when she grew up. What will you tell them, May? I will tell them I want to see Earth. I bet we can already guess where she's going with this. This is Earth, May, her mother said. The flowers, the grass, the forests, and the mountains. We live on Earth. I know, but I want to see Earth from out there. That's an amazing plan, little May. Then you have to become an astronaut. That way you can see Earth from space. Astronaut, do you think I could do that? What do you think her parents will say? Of course you can. If you can dream it, if you believe it, and work hard for it, anything is possible. True story. May asked her mom to take her to the library. She searched for books about space and astronauts. The library is one of my favorite places. Do you go to the library at your, in your hometown? Maybe you go to the library at school. After dinner, May drew pictures of space and she even made her own astronaut costume out of old orange curtains and cardboard boxes. That is a great outfit. Have you ever made a homemade, homemade outfit like that? Later, later, she asked her dad, but how do I become an astronaut? It seems impossible. You will find your way, May, because if you dream it, believe in it, and work hard for it, anything is possible. I really like that line. Do y'all like it? If you dream it, believe in it, and work hard for it, anything is possible. I like that. But space is so, so, so far away. It's closer than you think, little May, and you may get there sooner than you think. Hmm, I wonder what he means. What do you think he means? That night, May had a happy dream. She was dancing in space, surrounded by billions of sparkling stars. Below her, she could see Earth floating and turning like a shining crystal ball. That's a good dream. What are some of the things that you dream about? The next morning, May told her parents about her dream. She wanted to tell everyone and every time she talked about it, her eyes would light up. I wonder what things you might talk about that make your eyes light up. In the classroom, Miss Bell told everyone to stand in a line on the rug. Today, we are all going to share our dreams about the future. What do you want to be and what do you want to do when you grow up? Who wants to go first? I want to be a firefighter. I want to be a teacher, football player. I want to be a mom. I want to go to space. I want to be an astronaut. All of those are really wonderful answers. What do you want to be when you grow up? Hmm. And it's okay if you don't know yet. Sometimes it takes time to figure that out. All the kids started laughing. 
Miss Bell asked, May, are you sure you don't want to be a nurse? Nursing would be a good profession for someone like you. Hmm. I wonder why she changed that. Let's see. I don't want to be a nurse. I want to be an astronaut. May felt very disappointed. On her way home from school, May was quiet. She looked out the car window. Her world turned blue and cold. Nothing was the way it used to be. Has anyone ever told you what you want to do or what you want to be isn't what you should be? I imagine that that has made us all feel blue before and can understand how May feels. At home, May started crying. Miss Bell said, I can't become an astronaut. What a silly thing to say, said her mother. She told me I should be a nurse instead, said May. Her mom wiped away her tears. My dear May, I hope you didn't believe her. Of course I believed her, she's my teacher. I'm sorry Miss Bell didn't encourage you, but she can't stop you. No one can stop you. Follow your dream, May, and go to space. That's a great answer from her mom. Sometimes people will stand in our way, but they can't stop us. If you have a dream and you believe in it and you work hard for it, you can do it. Thank you, mom. I promise when I get to space, I will wave to you and dad from the spaceship. That's really sweet. Her mom took her hand and they started dancing. You must always repeat to yourself, if I can dream it, if I can believe in it, and if I work hard for it, anything is possible. Such a beautiful picture and a beautiful statement. May went on dreaming, believing, and working really hard. And guess what? She went to space and waved to her mom and dad on Earth. May all grown up. That's really cool. Dr. May Jemison. May Carol Jemison was born October 17th, 1956 in Decatur, Alabama. May always loved science. She loved being outside and looking up at the stars, knowing that one day she would travel to space. May is highly educated. She graduated from Morgan Park High School in 1973, and at the incredible age of 16, she enrolled at Stanford University, earning a Bachelor of Science degree in Chemical Engineering in 1977. May got her MD in 1981 from Cornell Medical College. She briefly worked as a general practitioner before leaving to work with the Peace Corps as a medical officer in Liberia and Sierra Leone. When she returned home, May decided to follow her childhood dream of going to space, and she accomplished many firsts. She applied to NASA's astronaut training program and on June 4th, 1987, was accepted. She became the first African-American female astronaut. On September 12th, 1992, May's dream finally came true when she traveled to space on the shuttle Endeavour, mission STS-47. It was then that May officially became the first African-American woman in space. May left NASA in 1993 and became the first real astronaut to act in an episode of Star Trek, The Next Generation. Today, she heads the Jemison Group and the Dorothy Jemison Foundation for Excellence. May speaks fluent Russian, Japanese, and Swahili. Wow, what a talented and smart and wonderful person and who did so many amazing things and broke so many barriers. 
I wonder what dreams you have. I'm getting teary-eyed just thinking about all the many firsts that you're going to do and you're going to break. And I hope you do them all because like our book reminds us, if you can dream it, if you can believe in it, and if you work hard for it, anything is possible. Indeed, anything is possible for you, my friends. Know that you are loved, know that you are missed, and remember to be good, sorry, be kind. You know it better than I do. Be kind, do good, and love your neighbors. Bye.